Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining us from Royal Albert Home. Uh, this is our <laughs> living room from our <laughs> flat in North London um, and we're really really pleased to be involved with the series. Uh, it's such a great series, we've enjoyed watching the videos. Yeah, great. Um, I'm Jess Gillum and this is Sam Becker and we have quite a wide range of, of tunes and pieces today. Oh, yeah from Baroque to Bowie. Um, so I hope there's something for you to enjoy. Um, and it's, our flat isn't quite, doesn't have quite have the grandeur of the Royal Albert Hall, I must what say. Is <laughs> it's a nice flat. <laughs> um, but the Royal Albert Hall is such a special place and such a special venue. I have so many life-changing memories there of being both an audience member and, and playing on stage. It's just one of the most amazing venues to play in and to experience music in. So if you are able to donate to the hall, that would be much appreciated. All of the details are below and also on the Royal Albert Hall's website. Um, and it, yeah, if you're able to donate, just keeping the arts and music and venues alive is going to be so important in this time as we kind of come out of the pandemic, I feel. Um, but we'll get on along with the show. Uh, the first piece that we're going to play today is called Pequeña Shada by a Spanish saxophonist called Pedro Itoralde, but it sounds much more Hungarian than Spanish. Um, it translates to little dance, and it certainly is that for my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this Pequeña Shada. Thank you. 
that was for Kenny Shada. And it's, it feels really strange playing to a screen. Oh, yeah. Because we can't see you. <laughs> Hopefully you can see us. Um, but Hopefully yeah, you enjoy it. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> um, but the, the connection is it's kind of lost, isn't it? The yeah, it just, it's not the... Um, there's not... Like the we were chatting before, there's none of the energy. You just like... You have to create all yourself and then when you finish the piece, it's just like... <laughs> oh yeah but yeah. it is amazing that we do have the technology to be able to share yeah. music through this way and and still be able to reach your home from ours um but yes we'll move on to play um some tango so if you feel like a dance at home then please do um this is piazzolo's um nightclub 1960 from his histoire de tango um in an arrangement that we've kind of put together uh, well, you've kind of put together <laughs> for saxophone and bass. Um, it's great fun to play and, and swaps between these very, very melodic passages um, with just the most satisfying harmonies <laughs> um, and these really dancey parts with a lot of um, pizzicato bass and, and moving saxophone lines. So this is nine, Nightclub 1960. Do you want to name it? Oh, big. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> 
want to play. Oh my god. <laughs> um, well, we're going to change the mood slightly um, and go back in time to Marcello um, for a piece originally written for Orbel, um, but played on soprano saxophone now. Uh, it's the second and third movement movements of Marcello's Orbel Concerto. And this second movement that we'll start with was uh, taken by Bach and written, uh, there was a piano version written for piano only. And it became quite popular through that. And then um, Glenn Gould made a recording of it that's absolutely beautiful. If you haven't heard it, you should definitely um, have a listen. And um, it kind of became famous through that movement. And now the whole concerto is well known. Um, but it's it's the melody just seems everlasting. It seems like it's going to go on forever. Um, and then the third movement is very sprightly and quite like a dance. Um, but we've 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 really enjoyed trying to make it work with the two instruments and mm. realizing what needs to be in, what doesn't need to be in. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, this is Marcello's Oval Concerto.
that is very close to my heart actually um, and I played it in the hall with orchestra for the very first time at the last night of the proms um, which was such an incredible experience. Um, the Royal Albert Hall is obviously incredible for many things but, but I think the proms is, is one of the most special, oh, yeah. special things for me um, and it's a, I first started playing saxophone in a carnival band in Ulverston, in Cumbria, where I'm from, which you might be able to tell from my voice. Um, and it was called the Barracudas Carnival Arts Centre. And they had stilts, dance, drums, costume making, backpack, and anything you can imagine was on offer. And I'd tried everything and was terrible at everything. And then picked up the saxophone last after trying all these things. Um, my dad worked there as a drum teacher. I picked up the saxophone last and tried it and made a note and I just kind of fell in love with it straight away. And this piece, Brasileira from Scaramouche, just takes me right back to those times because it's inspired by samba rhythms and Brazilian music and that's the kind of roots of the carnival band. So it's, it almost feels like sort of coming full circle back to where I first started. And it's just such an earworm, isn't it? Yeah, it's like We've just been going around the flat um, singing this tune. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. It's Brasileira by Mio. Oh, and I'm also playing this one on alto saxophone, um, which is a much more familiar saxophone. Um, and one of the challenges of working together with these two instruments has been, um, especially with a soprano, it's quite high in pitch and quite a direct sound, whereas Sam is 
that the lowest, the, <laughs> the lowest of the low. Uh, it's instrument, obviously, not, not yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, just emotionally, just. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the instrument uh, combined with the sound of the soprano. Uh, that it's not a usual combination without something sort of in the middle to to pad it out. So it's been it's been great actually working on these arrangements to. Oh great, also quite frustrating yeah, at times. Tough, but, yeah. um, to to work out, you know, how we can make it work and, and to even hear both instruments at the same time sometimes is quite tough. Um, but this one was quite easy to just put together. Yeah, so we great. played it a few times together before. Um, so this is Brasileira. <laughs> to the last piece in our set today, the last song in our set. Um, this is one of my all-time favourite songs, uh, Life on Mars by David Bowie. And it's been arranged very kindly for us by Peter Riley, our friend and orchestrator and arranger. And it's, I don't know about you, but these past few months have really felt like living on on Mars and in a completely different world. And I think in a way no one could have expected or imagined but music and being able to share music has been one of the things that has certainly got me through. I, I don't know about you. Yeah. Um, and I really hope you enjoy this. It's a, it's a fun arrangement. Um, and it's, it's been, this has been my favorite to, to play together. Um, and thank you very, very much for joining us and to the Royal Albert Hall for having us. Um, I hope you stay safe and stay well and looking forward to seeing you hopefully soon on the other side. And please donate if you can, so we can see you back there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you At can. At some point. <laughs>
joining us and stay safe stay stay well and <laughs> stay happy and thank you to the Royal Albert Hall let's keep music going music live and lots of love to everyone take care thank you so much for tuning into Royal Albert Home my name is Craig Hassel I'm the chief executive of the Royal Albert Hall which sadly has had to close its doors for the first time since the Blitz. So while we can't welcome you to the hall, we can share these concerts with you from artists' homes to yours. If you are able to donate even the fraction of a price of a ticket, you'll be helping us look after our staff and look after our beautiful building during this lockdown. Please simply text ALBERT to 70490 to donate £5 or donate any amount at all online at royalalberthall.com. Thank you.